right, 4448 uh, North J Avenue. So we're going to take a quick peek around the place. There's no um, actual garage, but there is a one car carport with this wall that I believe was added on afterwards. Maybe not. The foundation looks all the same. But seems to be actually in pretty good condition um, I haven't looked up on the roof maybe I'll jump up there I did notice like that door would have to be replaced um, I'm sure there's other stuff I think you keep the block maybe uh, you power wash it um, maybe you just leave it like it is and call it charming right uh, I will need new windows probably these guys are kind of nice. I don't know, you probably just leave those there. But you can kind of see the windows or the old windows. So budget I'm estimating on this one about five thousand to six thousand. Call it six grand for windows. Again, the wood. There's some damage right there actually. That's some pretty good damage. So you can see actually where they've kind of just painted over some stuff. So we'll have some wood repair, but nothing too serious that I've seen so far no visible leaks inside either um, I wish that was our air conditioner but you'll see ours in the back that shed back there is ours which isn't necessarily a good thing <clears throat> the street is pretty nice um, no real problems that I've noticed you can kind of see neighborhood the Wildcats fans I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing all right coming in there's no wow factor walking in right through here however let's pretend that that whole corner wasn't there like that entire corner I don't know how doable that is we're gonna go with the assumption that this in the middle of the house is the load-bearing wall going all the way down. I do notice that there's this big spot right here that does not have anything. So it could also be anywhere along this, but that's where I believe the ductwork is, as you can see. Going down. So you can't really do much there, but this, if this all came out, and then you walked in, you see how far down that picture is. And when I go around the corner, that's the kitchen, of course. But then you could spread out the kitchen, have a nice island right in the middle over here. And I'll show you what I mean when I get to, to the other side. Popcorn ceilings. Whole house texture is going to have to happen. Certain cracks. Uh, those baseboards are going to come up when they do the floors. And we're going to need new baseboards. This wall is that wood paneling, which we're going to say take out. But this wall, we're not going to take out that wall. So you got wood paneling issues. Do we take it out? Do we leave it? Um, do we just texture it? I don't know if you can texture over that. I don't think so. Well, you can, but will it stay? No. Simple closet, nothing really issue-wise with that. But let me take a quick peek at these. Uh, I've never seen these. Like, I, 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 I don't even know what those are. Some sort of light switches. Obviously, I know what they are, they're light switches. But the problem with these light switches is while they're functional, I don't think we can use those. Maybe we could do some mid-century modern bullshit, but eh, it's a toughie. Uh, the exposed brick or block on this side, okay. Uh, they painted it white, it looks pretty cool. That's, you know, that's acceptable. But look at this, this is not acceptable. Do you see that? What's wrong with that picture? Oh, it's missing a prong. These are all two prong outlets throughout the house. That is a very, very expensive fix if you wire it, rewire it, or you can, I believe, put just GFCI outlets in every single one of these, and perhaps my understanding is that gets you out of it. I'm not even sure what that one is. 
coming to the kitchen. All right, so let's go back. This is the kitchen idea. All the way down, all open, and you have the kitchen here. Um, I guess you keep this window, you put cabinets around it. So you have cabinets around this window. And you know, you can see like uh, counter space up here. You can see where the sink is. That means the drain is probably somewhere down there. As you can kind of see where that goes down. So it's kind of on the right of where that sink is. So the idea being you start somewhere here and that's where your island goes this way. And then you have, I guess, so there's no dishwasher, but you would have a dishwasher and sink in the island, which is fine, I think. That's pretty popular. The only other thing that you have, and then, so you have the door here, of course, so you don't change that. And then you have counter space coming along the wall here, and it goes, you know, past this wall, because this wall's not gonna be here. And the idea is over here, now where do you put the stove? Well, the stove is electric. I say you reroute the stove over to this wall and you put it on this side along with the refrigerator. So then when you walk in, you have this really nice kitchen with, you know, a, a nice island, kind of like what we do in the new construction stuff. And you can kind of see how they've had their water rerouted. So we already know there's gonna be, like they've redone this at some point. I mean, this house was 1947, I believe. Um, none of this is salvageable. And then you have the vent for the outlet. The exterior exhaust fan for the hood here is gonna have to go somewhere. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the light. Here, we'll save that. Um, I guess let's just do the backyard right now. It's hot as fuck out here, of course. But this is the problem with me saying that is because of this. What happens when you come out here? Oh, that's your laundry room. So, you know, unfinished laundry room, it's okay. I've sold houses like that, no problem. But does it hurt us? Yeah. And th that's the door that goes out front to the carport. So not ideal. Um, that door there has to be replaced. This one seems to be workable. Um, and still, again, the wood, in general, pretty good condition. Decent sized backyard. I'd say get probably rid of the clotheslines, although some people love the clotheslines, so I don't know. I guess you leave them and let somebody else get rid of them. I don't know how many people are buying houses with them or without them that care. And then this barn shed, you know, I mean, it's good to have a shed, but one thing, it's not good to have a door like that if you want a shed. And then you can kind of see it looks pretty secure in here, pretty dry, but also it's starting to get destroyed on this side. So, you know, with some maintenance, we could save it probably. Uh, upgraded electric. And then the air conditioning, pretty old, but it is 85 in there, it is on, it is working. I haven't touched it, but that is the current temperature. You can kind of see the upgraded electric to 200 amp service. Can't. Now you can. And I don't know, a bunch of stuff. So this looks like an old, uh, probably the evaporative cooler water line with the fuse box to that. It's probably what that is. There's ducks on all this stuff, so it must be something to do with the company. Duck, 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 oh, goose. All right, and then. There's all kinds of pipes coming down. There's all kinds of stuff here that's been reworked and worked again. Uh, antenna that would have to come down. A little bit of wood damage on this, but again, well, you yeah, know, that's just paint. Never mind. There might not even be wood in there. That might just be a big paint shop. Hard to say. <clears throat> I did look at the um, furnace. We'll go back in and look at that now that we're going back in. But I looked at the furnace. Oh, I did also notice, so one thing that is nice is they have a lot, I mean, there's some cracks in it, but that's, I think, okay. 
Um, we might even be able to do something where we uh, fill in the cracks and kind of cover it up and paint it and you know have a finished porch although I don't think we need to but they have a ton of cement up front the whole front yard is basically a cement parking lot so somebody that has a lot of cars this might be attractive to um, I don't know about RV rules but if you had an RV you could certainly park one there it would fit uh, they have these stupid windows that we'd have to replace slider that has to be replaced that's 1100 1200 um, 800 for the door 400 for the labor usually ish here it was so that window that door those windows and then you've got the big window up front and let's go to bedroom number one regular window regular size but notice this no place for a ceiling fan only the wall light which you know in a way saves us money but not quite as good uh regular size closet hole in the wall two prong again two prong uh they did everything in here with all the cable it looks like so somebody had it working in here okay your honeywell which is pumping at 85 and it is working Let's take a quick peek so your furnace air conditioning system, HVAC, pretty new water heater. You can kind of see at some point pretty recently these have been replaced. That's like almost new. That was been pretty recently done. So the middle of too old. Um, and that light does work, surprisingly. You know, it is a very showy light to have in the utility closet. Bedroom two, crack of the wall right there. Um, everything has popcorn ceilings, so that's going to be an expensive fix. Everything's two prong, and they all have these stupid whatever. They're cool. I love them. I hate them. I love them and I hate them. But look, I mean, they fucking work, so I don't know. I don't know what you do about that. I think what you do is you get an electrician to come change out all your damn light sockets, light uh, switches. And it's, you know, a little. Here and there, little storage areas, nothing great. Um, I think, I think what you have to do in this room, even though pink isn't terrible, and actually the condition suits it so that you could almost, I mean, if you clean this up and just paint it around it, you could have a really cool pink tub, pink backsplash, and a pink uh, sink to match. Or you tear it all out and hopefully donate the sink and the tub to somebody that would really want it, but check that out. I don't know what that means. It's not cast iron, but it is, it is a pretty solid thing. Um, I don't know what you do with this room. Probably redo the entire thing. Even if you wanted to keep this sink, you'd have to change the countertops. And so that presents its own challenge. That mirror won't do. There's no uh, medicine cabinet, although that'd be pretty easy to probably knock a hole in one of these walls and build a medicine cabinet. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pop a circuit breaker. All right, primary suite. It is blue, again, popcorn ceilings. I've never seen blue popcorn ceilings, so that's a new one, but all right. So what they've done here is closet and little closet over here which okay I understand why you'd want the closets but then if you come into the bathroom you see well, I'm gonna blow this shit up look at this tiny tiny shower so my thought was and then this the toilet's right here so my thought was turn the toilet so that it faces that way and then knock this shower out so that you have a shower that's twice as big and comes all the way through, well, basically to the edge of this wall is where it would end. I don't know if you can really tell, but from here, it would end right there. And then of course you would remove that door and you could have a nice big shower in the primary. Wouldn't be very expensive to do. Um, the only different, I mean, you got to remove all this anyway. All that's got to go because it's just disgusting. 
But, you say you did it. Well, I guess in a pinch, if you were trying to rent this out, you could probably clean that and keep it. Um, and then vanity, cultured marble. I don't know. Maybe you'd add a little value making a nicer bathroom. Gotta fix that vent too. Uh, vanity, uh, medicine cabinet, light fixture. So, I mean, we're looking at a pretty full remodel with some pretty labor intensive wall knocking out. And I would say we could spend every bit of 50,000 on this. Now that depends on if we don't have to do a roof or an HVAC. The HVAC seems to be working well. I'm sure though we're gonna have to do some sort of service tune up. I know we talked about already having a roof estimate. Roof sounds like it might be okay. So now let's talk about what this can sell for in comps because that's gonna be the next question. So I don't have that answer yet, but we've got people working on it. So we'll see right away what the numbers come in at for comps. And then we just gotta figure out if we can get this at a price that makes sense. And then we do a couple inspections. I would say we definitely wanna do a sewer scope on a house from 1947. And then we, where's the sewer probably? Coming up front, I don't know, maybe back there. Um, maybe do another roof inspection, but we know it needs flooring, new paint, knock out a few walls, few new doors, all new appliances, brand new counters, brand new kitchen, and essentially everything in the house needs to be brand new, except for that light fixture.